This here is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and yes, this video is going to review the latest firmware for the S23 Ultra, which of course is now from February. As much as I wanted to make this video about this phone, which is the S24 Ultra released almost one month ago and one day, well, no updates here still for the S24 Ultra. There are of course a lot of statements and you can watch them in my previous video, but forget about the S24 Ultra for a moment. This here is the S23 Ultra. And like I said in some of the other videos I did, guys, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is right now living its prime. Why? Well, this phone was released one year and a month ago and it has received more than 20 updates. This phone is rocking the latest One UI 6.0 with the Android 14, which is right now Google's stable operating OS. We know there is already Android 15, but we are a long time from getting Android 15 here with probably One UI 7. Um, in this video, I'm going to review some of the obvious stuff. Now, have in mind, this update is just only meant to be a security patch, so there will be no features, but you never know with Samsung, because this is why we do these videos. We need to fully test some of the things, test the animation, test the user interface, see how it works. But back to this prime thing, right? And it's not the prime for drinking, right? Like it's the prime of this phone. Right now, if you decide to get a phone that will last for a whole day, get a very nice camera experience on both video and also photos, well, the S23 Ultra is probably the phone to go. With the AJ2, which is a very nice chip to see with all the specs that this phone has with this marvelous display and everything around, well, I can tell you, this is a killer phone. The S24 Ultra, of course, has its own perks. It has a very nice 50 megapixel 5X camera through the optical zoom but then of course there have been some compromises but this is not a comparison between this phone and this phone so forget about this for a while this is now the start of this video i have received this version a couple of days ago it is bxad this is the current version security patch level is of course from the first of february now some things guys that we can do we can always go inside the security and privacy under the security and privacy guys there is also a way to check for updates and when you click here your phone is going to initiate a search. Of course, there is nothing new, but from here you can also update the Google Play System Store. Now, the Google Play System actually has an update from January. January, right? So right now, guys, I even have to update it, right? And I'm gonna restart the phone, updating it. Why is this important? Well, let me show you something. This here is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I'm gonna go in the update, guys, and we can check that the security update is from the 1st of January, but the Google Play System update is from 1st of July. And although I'm checking for an update, well, yeah, this is really it, guys. So right now, this makes the Galaxy S23 Ultra a bit more updated compared to the S24 Ultra. And this year, guys, I decided to not sell the S23 Ultra, or at least not sell it immediately. I wanna keep it for a while just to see how Samsung relation to the previous S Ultra Series model will develop. Will Samsung try to abandon it? Will they really release frequent updates for the S23 Ultra? Or will they just put all the efforts to the S24 Ultra and just sending the S23 Ultra in the oblivion? Here we are, fully updated. So the first thing you know I always start is with this animation. By the way, I'm running the QHD Plus resolution with 120 Hz. Not a problem. Quite nice, I would say. If you're here for the first time, you might wonder why I'm doing this test, guys. The reason is that some of these animations were not perfect in some of the older, like S20, S21, 22. The S23 with the Agent 2 really improved a lot of things, and hopefully also with One UI 6. And now 6.1, guys, I can tell you, this here is a whole other experience, like absolutely no stutter whatsoever. This really feels like I'm using the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, or let's say my iPhone or any other Chinese phone, which we know are very good with animation, some of them. But now back on the S23 Ultra, to the left, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna check my Google now. There was kind of like this just, just thinking a bit before switching to the screen, but I would say it's normal, right? Let's just now initiate my notifications. One more time will get me to the quick settings. All right, by the way, quite nice. You can see settings menu going outside. Now let's go and let's initiate the search, okay. I would say works flawless, by the way. Uh, now one more time, I'm just gonna go inside my app drawer and try to scroll and you can just see, by the way, I have really a lot of apps on the S23 Ultra, which we know makes things harder for the phone. Now, let's try to open some of the folders. A very smooth and very consistent animation, guys. All right, see here, not a problem at all. Also blur is applied in a very, I would say, smooth way. 
So now written menu, guys, I have a lot of applications. I will not close them, right? Just to make sure that the test is a bit more realistic. Now let's try to open some apps, open Telegram, all right, Messenger, and Facebook. Quite nice, by the way, and really very, very fast. Open Viber, all right, and open Instagram. Let's see what Instagram will do, because we know Instagram has a history, I think, with Android phones. Now, the moment I go to the left, show me that very nice and beautiful transition. Yeah, actually, it is nice and beautiful, and not a lot of stars, by the way. Scrolling, scrolling, left, cool. Now, let's just open X and see the scrolling speed. Yeah, it's not still ideal compared to the way it works on iPhone, but I don't think it's Android's problem. I just think it's something that they cannot still fix. And since we're here, guys, let's try to measure a temp. We have 31.5 Celsius on the phone, and I have something like 22 Celsius ambient temperature. Now, what is something important? We can already start and run a Geekbench 6. But before I do so, guys, let me just show you the history. So the last time I ran the Geekbench was on January while well, I was getting single core 2015 and multi-core 5230. So let's see how much we're gonna get now for the sake of the comparison. Almost close. Let's just check some temps here. Yeah, Geekbench is just no-brainer for this phone. 1973 and 5360 so how does this stack compared to the previous test guys we can see it's circuit the same so we lost a bit of points here and there but i would say it's a bit of the same now let me show you something interesting guys i didn't really close any of the applications i'm gonna go inside developer option why i just want to show you the usage of the memory right now uh, the average memory usage is almost 5g for the last three hours but if i go one day then i can see 6.1 gb right total 12 and that's interesting to just click here on the memory usage and see what is taking the most so it's android os with 2g 724 Brawl Stars and then of course One UI Home. So I would say it is it is quite nice, right? And it seems that this device is really able to manage memory in a way that you're always gonna get free memory for something that you wanna do. Now, while we're here, guys, let me show you this. This is the Edge animations. And of course, from here, I have also some preset scenes like opening Telegram with Twitter. This is part of the testing that I'm doing, just to make sure that nothing will really lack and that all will work as expected. So now let's try to minimize X or Twitter, all right? Works very flawlessly. You can also try to minimize it like this, right? And you can have a bunch of them, I think up to five. They will work as expected. Now let's open the camera and see what happens with the camera animations, because this was a problem in, uh, let's say, the S20 with 21, for example. So opening the camera, closing the camera now, so so smooth guys I can just see I'm gonna put here the front camera by the way I'm recording the video with the Oppo Find X7 Ultra if you have been following my channel you know that I decided to sell the iPhone 14 Pro which was my main video shooter and just really stay with the Oppo because this camera blows your mind you can check my videos by the way we can also try to do a very short comparison with the S24 Ultra right so you can just still see guys the S24 Ultra still gonna be a bit quicker right all right, and that's of course a Gen 3 and it's a more recent phone, but overall you can just see right the S23 Ultra is really doing a nice job. Now let's see what is going to happen with the shutter lock and I'm going to show you I am using the maximum settings in the advanced intelligence options and when you scroll down to the camera system guys you can just see auto HDR, no picture softening and the auto lens switch is off. I do also use the quick tap shutter. Still, still not so quick the way we wish it guys. Uh, but I think it is only as good as it gets. Now, let's go inside the gallery and see what happens with the gallery animation because this has been also been problematic for a while, especially when you do like this. So in my case, I have almost 7,400 photos and you can imagine this might be a bit problematic um, when you do like a search and stuff like this. But right now, from what we see, honestly, this works, works very nice. So not a big issue at all. I'm telling you guys, the S23 Ultra is really living its prime. Now let's check some of those widgets. All right, I'm gonna actually also bring my S24 <laughs> Ultra, by the way, you've seen these guys. You know what? Let me just go inside, close everything. Let's just start it one more time. <laughs> So the first time I open it, it's faster on the S23 Ultra, and then only when it's in the memory, it's faster on the S24 Ultra. Let's do this one more time, just for the fun. All right, okay, this time I would say was quite the same. Let me try to bring also the S24 Ultra here. 
All right. Okay, so this is really how it works. Sometimes when I close the widget, I have the feeling that it closed abruptly. Now it works okay, but you see seen the first time, the first animation, I think it was somehow corrupt. So if I open it, if I go to home, let's just go to home here as well. All right, now let's close it. All right, now I think it was okay. See, see, this is what I'm speaking, guys. This is what I'm referring to. The moment I exited, it seems that the widget animation is still broken sometimes. See, not perfect. I think this is the ideal animation. Um, sometimes when you just go outside, it feels like a broken one. But now going back to the S23 Ultra, I do believe that this update will only make the S23 Ultra going stronger, again, living its prime. And I'm gonna keep this device for a few more months to see what Samsung is going to do with the S23 Ultra. And uh, honestly, I really love my S23 Ultra. If you love content like this, guys, then you know what to do. Thank you so much for the sub. If you want to watch more videos about the S24 Ultra or the Oppo, well, you know they're coming. Of course, comparisons and all kind of things. If you want something more specific, yeah, just hit me up in the comments, guys, or under my community section. Thank you so much. Stay safe.